This is the ESP32 1732 S019, a 1.9 inch IPS TFT dev board featuring the well known and loved ESP32 S3 microcontroller. Apart from your standard Wi Fi and VLE capabilities, thanks to the built in PCB antenna, this board comes with 20 GPIOs broken out, powerful processing with dual LX7 cores running at up to 240 MHz, and a USB C connector for programming. There is also another SPI bus available through the 6 pin FPC connector, however, I don't see myself using it anytime soon, considering that hardware SPI can be mapped to any pins on the ESP32 S3. The width of the board prevents it from being breadboard compatible, so I mounted the headers facing up for easier connections to any necessary nets. Considering that it is an $8 board, you don't get all the fancy tutorials and libraries that you would with more reputable companies. In fact, I couldn't find a single video tutorial or article, and most of the official demos use outdated software which prevents the programs from compiling. However, since most TFTs share only a handful of driver chips, which in this case is the SC7789, many Arduino libraries are available and compatible with this board. I first started out using the Adafruit GFX library as well as the animated GIF library to present moving images, but they are both really slow and thus impractical for any intensive use. This was only improved when I started using the TFT ESPI library, which allows for much higher refresh rates due to being optimized for high performance microcontrollers like the ESP32, RP2040, and SCM32. When combining it with the animated GIF library, you end up with silky smooth animations like these. So how did I do it? TFT ESPI is declared through user setup for the specific board being used, which will denote the pins, TFT properties, and SPI clock speed. Since there is no preset for the ESP32 1732S019, I had to make one myself which can be found in the description below. Ensure that the file's name is setup302 underscore ESP32-1732S019.h before continuing. Now, follow these instructions to set up your board in Arduino IDE. With that done, you should be able to use this powerful and versatile library to interface with your TFT, and I would recommend watching some of my other videos to see how this is done. All of the code shown in this video is available in the description below, and it will only work given that you have followed the installation steps shown before.